Mission grabs a, a big problem in San Francisco, but neighbors in the city's Richmond district say a lot of the stolen items end up being dumped in their neighborhood. Now there is a community-led effort to help the victims get their belongings back. Crown Force Taylor Basaki talked with one of the people making this happen. She joins us now live with how this is being done. Taylor. Catherine, it's all being done through the power of social media. These neighbors are going on social media and they're posting on the Nextdoor app once they've found some of these stolen items. And you know, one of the people who started all this, this massive effort about a year ago, well, he's already helped about 50 tourists get their things back and most recently helped a group traveling from Kentucky over the weekend. First, it's the shattered glass and then the littered luggage across the streets of San Francisco. Park Presidio to about 20th Avenue um, is a place where we just, you know, we find them daily. Neighbors in the Richmond district, like Mark Dietrich, say scenes like this are becoming more common in the neighborhood after burglars break into cars at tourist spots like Fisherman's Wharf and Palace of Fine Arts, steal items, and then dump the stolen suitcases. When they, if they want to make a quick getaway, they jump on the Golden Gate Bridge and it spits them out into our neighborhood. And boom, that's, this is the first place they can just pull into a parking spot and dump it out in somebody's driveway. Dietrich says he's found dozens of bags over the last year when he began tracking down victims to bring back their belongings. He says he's already helped about 50 tourists. Sometimes it's, it's one backpack. Um, a, a week or two ago, it was an entire college woman's volleyball team um, whose vans were smashed out again out at Land's End. It took all of their gear and equipment. It's also sentimental items like this Army veteran's backpack. Dietrich says this bag was stolen most recently while the group was visiting from Kentucky on Saturday. He says one of the victims told him that the bag had survived two tours in Iraq but couldn't make it past two hours in San Francisco. Dietrich eventually tracked down the backpack and was able to return it to the veteran. Meanwhile, on Monday, another neighbor found this bag and posted about it on Nextdoor, a social media site where many in the city post about the recovered items. Somebody messaged me, hey, I found a bag just over on California Street. Uh, I don't know what to do with it. So I zipped over there, got it. The bag is right here. Uh, and we've I've gone through it and there's there's no uh, identification. There's absolutely nothing in it. In these cases, Dietrich will turn it over to police. While this community effort isn't stopping the thefts from happening, he says at least this is something anyone can do to help this growing problem. The least we can do as neighbors is, you know, help these poor tourists who come here on their vacations and we rob them. The least we can do is, is you know, when we're walking down the street, and this is happening in our neighborhood and lots of other neighborhoods, is at least, you know, scoop up the, you know, the sidewalk littered with, with, with stolen luggage and try to figure out how to get it back to them. This effort is something that many locals in the city are now tapping into and also banding together to return these stolen items. You can also find similar posts on Facebook or on Twitter. For now, we're live in San Francisco. Taylor Visaki, Cron 4 News.